Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. So tomorrow I'm flying to Rome which I'm so excited about and today is a bit of an admin day and I need to pack my suitcase as well and I thought I'm just gonna take you along because I always find it really interesting to see what people take on like the short trips. So we are flying from Saturday tomorrow morning until Monday so it's a three-day trip and of course <laughs> with our luck um, it's gonna be quite warm like Saturday and Sunday so like 25 degrees and then on Monday it's supposed to rain and we're only sharing one small hand luggage so I really need to see what I'm packing because I don't have a lot of space and I need to pack for rain and sunshine which is gonna be a bit tricky so today was actually a really nice day already so I have today off work today which is great it's around lunchtime now so in the morning I went out with some friends for breakfast to a restaurant called The Caravan at King's Cross. So they have a few different restaurants in London, but we went to the one at King's Cross. If you've never been at King's Cross, it's really lovely there. So it's behind King's Cross station and it has like so many cute restaurants and so many lovely little places you can go to for like drinks or coffee or um, there's also the canal you can sit on. And then I also just went to the dry cleaners, picked up some trousers for Nick and then I also need to do some ironing today. So he's at work and I said I have some time so I can do a little bit of ironing of the stuff that we want to take along. And then I've also done the washing, which I need to hang up as well in a minute. As I said, a lot of admin -y stuff. And as I said, we're going with another friend of ours. So it's just the three of us going. And we are gonna stay at his place tonight because he lives really close to Stansted. As a thank you that we can stay at his place, I also got these really gorgeous flowers from Tesco. I was so surprised that Tesco has such lovely flowers. I thought they're like the perfect autumn flowers right now. I mean, I'm not quite sure if you can see it in the screen, but they have like this lovely little orangey flowers, red roses. I have no idea how you call these ones and then some lilies as well. So I'm quickly gonna put them in some water. And now I want to do some ironing and I do want to watch this show that everyone is talking about um, right now, which is on Netflix. I forgot the name of it. Let me, where's my phone? Let me quickly check. Okay, so the show is called Dama, Dama, I'm not quite sure. So it's about, I think it's a serial killer and literally everyone's talking about it. All of my friends are talking about it. It's like memes and stuff all across the internet and I kind of want to watch it as well just to understand them. And Nick absolutely hates those kind of shows. He really doesn't like watching them because he's at the office now and I have to do some ironing. I thought I'm going to watch some now. Anyway, enough rambling now. I need to do some ironing and get on with my day because I still have quite a lot of stuff to do. already got everything out that I want to bring to Rome and put it on the bed here so let me quickly turn you around and show you what I want to bring so it looks like quite a lot of stuff and I really need to see if I can squish everything into the carry-on suitcase that we have as I said I can only use half of it because Nick needs the other side but it's really tricky because we have one day of rain and then we have some sunshine the other days so I kind of need to pack for different weather um, and also please ignore the blanket here. It was really cold the last few days in London and we have this patchwork blanket that we made ourselves last year and it literally consists of loads of little cashmere pieces which is great and super warm but it looks a little bit hideous but yeah just ignore that please. Um, okay so let me quickly run you through what I got. Okay so the idea is for traveling I want to wear those jeans from Levi's which are really comfortable and very stretchy and then I wear this white cotton shirt on top which I put in France really love it looks really adorable with those little sleeves here as well and then when we arrive in Rome I think it's gonna be quite warm I think around 25 26 degrees so I want to swap the jeans with these trousers here which are really light and airy and then I do have this jeans jacket as well that I want to take with me during the day because we have booked a tour in the Vatican and I'm not quite sure how cold it is in the museum and in the basilica so I 
take something to throw on just in case. And then for the evening, I have a few different options. Well, two options actually, which is this jumpsuit here, this black one. I really love this. It's just this super simple black jumpsuit, which is from Banana Republic, but also quite old already. For the next day on Sunday, it's also going to be nice and warm. So I either wear these trousers again or I wear the skirt here. Depending on which one I wear, I have this black tank top here, which is really lovely. And then I have this one here, this cotton t-shirt as well, which is kind of a little bit see-through and I thought it might be nice um, and airy. And then again, I think the jeans jacket works with both outfits. And then I did bring some tights as well because I thought I can wear it with probably both of them again if it's a little bit chilly in the evening and then for the third day when it's gonna rain I thought I can depending again how warm it is I can either wear the jeans again or these trousers and then I have this really thin cashmere jumper and then I do have this white tank top for underneath as well so this is kind of what I want to pack and I do have this jacket as well I might skip the jacket and then I do have this little scarf here as well which I picked up in Paris and I was thinking maybe I don't know in the evenings or like on the Monday kind of like under the cashmere jumpers tucking it in something like that um, and then shoe wise I have these sneakers which I'm gonna wear tomorrow and on the travel as well and they're just really comfortable to run around in then I have these loafers here which are this brown suede color and I thought they also go with pretty much every outfit. So I've never been to Rome and someone told me there are loads of like cobblestones and it's quite tricky to walk on with heels. So I thought I might just bring these ones which are those block heels. So quite easy to walk in. And then for my bag, I'm just gonna bring this one back here, which is my Chloe bag, which I love so much. And then I also packed a pajama and then underwear and stuff is still drying. <laughs> I really hope it's gonna be dry in time but I need to pack it in a little bit and then of course I also need to pack my jewelry and makeup and skincare and stuff like that so I quickly do that now I haven't done that yet okay so for my jewelry I have decided I will take this golden necklace here which is from Cezanne and then this necklace here which is from Accessorize which is really cute it has like a little moon and a few stones and I think that one would go quite nicely with the black jumpsuit. And then in terms of like the earrings, I think I'm just gonna leave those ones in that I already have. So let me zoom in, you can see it. So those like pearl earrings and then just like a little hoop here. And then for my rings, I'm just gonna wear what I have on right now as well. So just some um, stacked rings here. And then like this one here, which I actually bought not too long ago in Notting Hill in like a little antique shop. And I really, really love this one. And then for my makeup, I also want to keep it somewhat simple. I have like my go-to travel kind of makeup that I always take with me. That's like my trusty makeup that I know stays put and works really well for me. So number one, if you follow my channel for a while, you know, I really love the um, Vitalumia Aqua from Chanel, which is this kind of foundation that's super lightweight and just stays put all day and performs so well and it has a little bit of SPF in it as well. Then I have a concealer which is the Catrice True Skin and then I also take a powder with me because it is quite hot so I might be a little bit sweaty. And then I have my loved Burberry palette here and it's quite handy because it comes with a contour, it comes with highlighters and blushes so it's kind of a really good travel palette and I do take this brush with it as well. And then for my eyebrows I'm gonna bring um, the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil from Benefit for mascara using the Curl Bounce Maybelline Mascara, which I just try to use up because it's nearly done and finished. So I'm taking it with me everywhere so I can finally um, finish it completely. And then for my eyes, I was thinking I don't want to take too much because again, it's probably a little bit hot. So I thought I'm going to bring this eyeshadow stick from Beauty Pie, which is in the color Brazilian Air. And I really like them because they stay put when you apply them you just like blend them out a little bit and then they just stay put all day and you can smudge them all over your lid to kind of get a bit of a grungy evening look or you just like have it really close to your lash line and then I do want to bring one eyeshadow palette which is like a really small travel palette that I have super old already very used as you can see and this is from a brand that we have at home which is called Yves Rocher or it's probably a French brand and then for my lips I also want to keep it quite simple so I just have a nude lipstick from Milani, which is from the new lipstick lines that they have. And this is in the color 
um, tease, which is kind of like a matte everyday um, lipstick. And then I do have a kind of like rosy lip liner that I want to bring along as well, which I probably should sharpen before I leave. And I thought this one could be really nice for the evenings. And then a lip balm on top. I know it's quite a lot um, for just three days, as I said, but it doesn't matter. I like the stuff that's in here, so I'm gonna bring it. Okay, let's quickly go to the bathroom and then we can pack skincare, hair care, and everything else that's missing. So I got all of the toiletries out already that I want to bring. And before I show you, one thing I can really recommend is just like having one of those plastic bags at home because you need to put all of your liquids in. So I have one here so I exactly know how much liquids I can bring. And then I have this really cute bag here, which is from Skinny Dip. And I put everything else in here that's not liquids. First and foremost, most importantly, a toothbrush and a toothpaste. I have a deodorant, which I actually really don't like. Then for the shower, I have those little um, samples from L'Occitane. Those are little shampoos. And then I do have this uh, conditioner here. And then I have a razor as well, which is gonna go into this bag here. Um, and then I think that's everything shower wise. Um, for taking off makeup and face uh, skincare, I have this little, um, how do you call it, like mini towel in a way, which is from ha uh, Face Halo, which is super handy to take off makeup. I do use, um, I have this little um, micellar water here from Garnier as well. I do use them together. I find this one works much better with a little bit of micellar water on it, but you could also use it without it. And then to cleanse my face afterwards, I have this Aesop, it's kind of a leaf body cleanser. So it's like a body wash but I'm gonna use it as like a mix of body wash and face wash just for the three nights. I'm not gonna bring a extra um, face wash if I have this one as well. And then for moisturizing my skin, I have the Nude Stick Citrus Sea Mask Daily Moisturizer. And I really, really love this one. It's so nice. It's nearly empty. So again, I try to use this one up. So I take it with me everywhere when I go on trips. And it's also like the perfect little size um, if you do want to go on holiday. And then I have an eye cream as well, which is the Good Molecule Gerbamade. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring this one. Definitely not necessary to bring an eye cream. So I don't know, we'll see when Nick comes home what he thinks, if I should take it or not, but I think I'm gonna pack it for now. And then of course, I'm also gonna bring a sunscreen because Rome still is very hot and somewhat summery. So I have a sunscreen here, which is SPF 25, which is from Beauty Pie, really like this one. And then I have a mini Batiste um, dry shampoo. This is always a necessity for me when I go on holiday. And then I also want to bring this clip here that I have on right now. It's really handy to just like throw into your bag and then if you're hot, you can just like clip up your hair. But yeah, this is everything I want to bring. Um, I'm not sure if I forgot anything I need to see, but I think that's everything for my kind of skincare. And now I need to get the suitcase and actually try to fit my stuff. We'll see if that works. full but I think I think it's okay and if I close this I think it should work I'm not 100% sure we'll need to see um, how much Nick's gonna pack and then also I forgot to show you I'm gonna bring some sunglasses as well which I really like they're from um, Les Becks they look like this Really nice sunglasses, very light and comfortable to wear. So I think for today, I'm gonna finish the vlog here and I'm also gonna say goodbye to you now. And I hope you enjoyed it, um, just following me along and seeing what I'm gonna pack for Rome. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And for the next clips, actually, I just remembered I probably need to bring an umbrella as well. I mentioned like 10,000 times that it's gonna rain and I didn't think of maybe packing an umbrella. Okay, that needs to go in as well. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in my next video. And I also hope you enjoy the few clips that are coming now that I'm gonna take in Rome. Bye. Bye.